I will say this. It's funny you say that because even in that first episode, when she was like, the, the lady touched her, she's like, um, if you don't get your hands off of me, I'm like, oh, oh shit, this is this is uh <laughs> right. I ain't never I ain't never heard a slave say that. This is something different. Yes. <laughs> Breathe and relax because you're about to have some fun and everything that happened is is my fault. So you're gonna be safe. Okay. I feel better already. Miss Carla Simone, excellent job. Okay. Thank you. Because of the period piece. How did you find comfortability within portraying the relationship and reliving things that our ancestors took on in the past? Did you like have to prepare mentally for that? I don't think I did prepare mentally for it, to be honest. I think I just jumped right in. I was very aware of that weight. I think we all carry it in our lives, you know. I, I quite enjoyed it. I felt like it felt like an honor to be able to do it. Sorry now on you. I got to point all the blame on you because when it first started out, right, I was like, oh, man, this is a love story. No, oh, time out. It's a mystery. Wait, time out. It's a personal journey. Wait, time out. You did that on purpose. <laughs> I did, and I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I did it on purpose, and I'll tell you why. Because you've kind of touched on something that's really important to the story, which is that it is weighty and it's about this kind of legacy of trauma. We are people who are descended from enslaved people. I always had this kind of problem. And I, in the back of my mind, I thought the reaction nowadays when people are told a story is about an enslaved person is kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch that or I don't know if I want to read that. And I right. think I know what it's going to be. And is it just going to be suffering and then suffering and then more suffering? <laughs> suffering to, you know? <laughs> A little suffering to round things out. <laughs> Not to trivialize it, because it's really important that we acknowledge and honor the way that our ancestors thrive through it. But I think this tendency to assume that that means all oh, the stories are the same is one I really fight against as a writer. You know, from frame one, we're going to be challenging your expectations of what a quote unquote slave story is supposed to be. Well, excellent job. Thank you guys so much.